Welcome to everyone. Today we talk about salient features of cluster matroda which included in phylum Platyelminthes and important example Fasciola hepatica. Firstly we can talk about phylum Platyelminthes. Platyelminthes comprises the animals commonly called platyelms. They are triploblastic, bilaterally symmetrical, dorsoventrally fattened and unsegmented acelomates with protonephridial excretory system and a mesoclimatous tissue that fills the interior. Next is class Trametoda. Trametoda is a class within the phylum Platyelminthes. It's a group of parasitic platyworms, commonly called flu. Nearly 12,000 species of Trametoda have been recognized. They belong to group Monogenia and Digenia. Silent features of Trametoda flat leaf like an unsubmitted adult body without ciliary covering. Body is covered by non-cellular living layer called tegmen which is dense mass of cytoplasm. Other sieve organs include oral and ventral suckers and in some cases hooks. Epidermis does not exist as discrete cellular layer in adult. Blindly ending elementary canal with bifid and branched intestine. Excretory and osmoregulatory organs are protonephridia with flame cells. Reproductive is exclusively sexual. Most membranes are hermaphrodites. Life cycle is simple or complex. Complex life cycle involves several larva states and one or more intermediate host. Next, we go to the important example Fasciola hepatica. Fasciola hepatica, popularly known as sheep liver flu, is a pathogenic endoparasitic trametoda. Inhabiting the liver and bile duct of sheep, it may be occasionally found in ox, dog, goat, horse, buffalo, rabbit, elephant, antelope, deer, monkey, and man also. In sheep, it causes the serious disease fasciolosis or liver root. Morphology of Fasciola hepatica Adult liver fluke has a soft, dorsal ventrally flattened and conical body at its board anterior and is a conical projection called oral cone. Mouth is situated at the tip of this cone encircled by the oral sucker. Ventrally, a little behind of oral cone is the posterior or ventral sucker, often called ascendibulum. It serves as an adhesive organ for attachment to the host. Just in front of the ascendibulum is the common gonopore. At the extreme posterior tip of the body is the excretory opening. During breeding season, a temporary opening may be formed on the mid-dorsal surface. This is the ex external opening of a shock duct called Lurer's canal that leads out from the oviduct. Life cycle of fasciola is diagnostic parasite. It its life cycle is completed in two species of host, namely sheep and the pond snail. Life cycle is highly complex and it involves five larva states, namely Miracidium, Sporocytes, Radia, Sarcaria, and Metasarcaria. Fertilization in is internal. Fertilized eggs are stored in the uterus for some time. During this, each eggs get caught with yolk and enclosed within a shell. This embryos can, can undergo further development only when they are laid in moist places. Under favorable conditions of light, moisture, temperature and oxygen in the soil, each embryo develops to the ciliated lava called Miracidium. First, Miracidium. Miracidium is a minute free-swimming ciliated larva. Its body wall is composed of outer epidermal middle muscular and inner mesenchymal layer. Epidermal cells are ciliated 18 to 21 in number and, and arranged in five circular bands. At the anterior and Miracidium has a conical and prostable projection called apical papilla, lying inside the papilla and opening a tip in a circular apical gland. The secretion of this gland serves histolysis to dissolve the snail tissue for penetration, Miracidium can undergo further development only in the intermediate host. 
the commonest intermediate host of Fasciola hepatica is pound snail. It migrates to the internal tissue of snail and transforms to the next larva called sporocyte. Next larva stage is sporocyte. Sporocyte is an elongated and circular larva. Its body wall consists of outer tuckman, middle muscle, muscular layer and inner mesocyme layer. Internally, sporocyte have pair of protonephridia and several gem cells. And gem balls, the gem cells and gem balls are those of the myrasidium. So they are undifferentiated zygotic cells. Gem cell undergo repeated division and from further gem balls. On the other hand, gem balls behave a embryos. Some of them directly developed to the third type of larva called radii. Third larva stage is radii. Radii is an elongated and cylindrical larva. Its body wall is composed of outer tegmen, middle muscular layer and inner mesocyme layer. Near its anterior end is muscular band known as collar. And near its posterior end is pair of ventrolateral process called lep. The petus cola serves for locomotion and encourage close the close to the cola is an opening at birth bore. Internally, radia has numerous gem cells and gem balls also. Often, in summer, some of gem balls develop to second generation of radia, known as daughter radia or secondary radia. In winter. The gem balls of primary and secondary radii are developed to the next larvae, namely Cercaria. They also pass out through the birth pore. Fourth stage is Cercaria. Cercaria is an oval, flat, and tailed larvae. Its body is covered by spiny tegmen. It has two suckers, namely oral and ventral sucker. The whole interior of the larvae is filled with parenchyma. Laterally, uh, just beneath the tegmen, there are numerous cytogenous glands. Cercaria has a well differentiated elementary canal, a pair of protonephridia, and numerous flame cells. The elementary canal consists of mouth, sectorial pharynx, long esophagus, and frog forked intestine. Cercaria closely resemble the adult fluke except in the presence of tail and the absence of mature gonads. Fully formed cercaria escape from the radii, eat the pulmonary sac of snail, finally escape to the outside. Fifth and last larva stage is metacercaria. Cercaria has a short free life. It swim about in water for few hours, then settle down and finally attach itself water feed with Sucker. Soon its tail is lost. Now its cytogenous glands secrete for layered cysts around it. Metasarcari is infective. Its further development is possible only in sheep. Sheep of often swallow a large number of metasarcaria while it feeds on the plant to which metasarcaria remain attached. Come in contact with the liver of God and Burrow into it, the liver they grow mature to adult fluke. Finally, in three to seven weeks after infection, they invade the bile duct can remain there, feeding upon the bile duct epithelium and components of bile. The reproductive organs are constructed on hermaphrodite plan. Both male and female organs occur in the same individual. The male part of the apparatus consists of testis, vasa differentia, and serous. The female part of the reproductive apparatus consists of a single ovary, an oviduct, and wood type with mehlis gland, vitellaria, vitellin duct, and a uterus. Now we can talk about the important point. Pathogenicity and prevent measures of fasciola hepatica. Fasciola hepatica is seriously pathogenic to sheep. In sheep, it causes the disease fasciola or liver root, characterized by enlargement, inflammation, and damaged liver 
duct the passage of young parasites through liver and their localization of the biliary channels cause extensive damage to the liver acute and heavy infection in fatal sheep is often caused portal cirrhosis in chronic infection the sheep become anemic and weak with swelling and severe pain in jaws that may occur in few months quite infrequently men also get the infection of liver fluke by ingesting metasarcaria along with raw vegetables the symptoms of human fasciolosis include vomiting presenting diarrhea enlargement and tender liver it is common in sheep raising and cattle raising countries and it preventing measures the most effective method of controlling fasciola is destruction of pond snails which have the larva of fasciola pond snails can destroy in three principal ways the poisoning their habitat with copper sulfate solution uh, like pond etc by make use of ducks which feed on them and uh, by exposing them to hot sun and drought by drying out water from their habitats men can escape from the infection of liver fluke by eating only properly washed and cooked vegetables and also by excluding snails from the diet and next is killing of adult fluke in the sheep by administering of enzymatic drug and uh, prolonged storage of sheep faces of their treatment with quick lime or copper sulfate destroy the eggs there is adaptation for liver fluke we can check it first is absence of locomotory and respiratory and circulatory system absence of sense organs presence of resistant tegment presence of other sieve structure highly ability to anaerobic respiration hermaphroditism and enormous fecundity and polyembryony peculiarity of life history of fasciola is uh, several larva stages and two species of host enormous fecularity and polyembryony heterogamy presence of somatic and germinal embryonic cells and advanced larvae Th- there we can see larva adaptation epidermal armor for mirasidium for protection from the ad- adverse condition in the soil ciliary covering of mirasidium of to sim about the gaining access to the pond snail and boring papilla and granular apparatus in mirasidium for penetration into the tissues polyembryony in sporocyte and radia to increase the number of larva form and cystogenous glands in cercaria circa- for secreting a protective cyst and the resistance is around metasarcaria for protection from extreme environmental condition and the conclusion is fasciola hepatica is a seriously pathogenic animal which come under the class trematoda it a pathogenic to sheep fox deer elephant man etc is very highly causing sheep and cattle after affecting fasciola sometimes sheep leads to the death so take preventing method for our life and organisms thank you thank you very much